Hey, C here, and this is Dredge, a game that I've wanted since it came out, because it feels just right up my alley. Now, you may remember that I've played Moonglow Bay on the channel, and I think this has a similar premise in that it is about fishing, and the look of it, the aesthetic, is also kind of similar, but this one is very Lovecraftian, and if you know me, you know I love a good Cthulhu game, <laughs> or Cthulhu inspired, and uh, this feels like very much that, so let's jump right in, and let's fish some tentacle monsters or something, I don't know, we'll see, let's dredge the depths. Oh, this looks gorgeous already. Job listing. Angler wanted. Okay, I take it back. It's not like Mungle Bay, the aesthetic. This is beautiful. I may have lowered the volume a little too much. This is gorgeous. So I tried not to spoil myself that much because I didn't want you know I didn't want to spoil the game. I knew that I would have loved it, so I didn't want to see too much. I only saw some pictures here and there, and that's it. I didn't want to see more than that. But I have a feeling it's gonna be great. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat, your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've heard a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can feel your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. So you think this is why I thought it would look similar to Munglo Bay? Because this kind of does look similar. Uh, but let's see that Y has an exclamation mark. Pursuits. Let's check this out. Catch fish for the day. Okay, <laughs> easy enough, I think. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be, to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. Bit dramatic. The mayor asked me to catch as many fish as I can, then head back to Greater Marrow. Okay, let's do that. That's a dock. Move forward speed L. Use L to traverse. And I can rotate camera. Interesting. There's some fish over here. Fish. Move to a fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surface. Then press A. Um. Do I need to select this? Uh, start fishing, yeah. Oh, I like that this is more of a, a kind of, this is the cargo, I guess. This is our inventory, kind of like Resident Evil 4, like you need to manage. Uh, I mean, it's not the only thing in the only game, but I feel like Resident Evil 4 was one of the first to do this kind of inventory. Let's start fishing. Oh, like that. Blue mackerel. 
And I, I love this kind of inventory management. Not gonna lie. Let's fish again. Another blue mackerel. Let's put it... Well, let's put it there. How many fish are in this pot? So many mackerels. This bay is... Okay, the, the, I was gonna say, this bay has uh, so many fish. It's bountiful with fish, but... There's no more. Not here. Let's go to the next one. This is so much easier to fish than in Munglo Bay. Start fishing. A cod! Ooh, I like this shape. I do really like how the, this inventory management thing, I really like this. I mean, so far this is a really nice time, I don't know what the fuss is all about, you know, the, with the... Oh, there's no more fish. Let's go over here. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Interesting. So if I stay still, there's nothing. Shallow, you don't have the right equipment for this boat. Oh, interesting. So when is sundown exactly? I do see some like darker thing creeping on that. I guess it's not compass. It's like that is the sky. That um thing around that I don't know. I guess when that golden darker yellow thing that is twilight maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Fish. Actually, I want to see, what is that X? What does that do? Oh, that's our lights! Okay, so if we're in darkness, and what is LB? Lights, oh, okay. Lights, fog horn, loud horn makes your presence known. Spyglass. Get a closer look, can identify fishing spots at a distance. Uh huh. That might be useful right now. Uh huh. Interesting, interesting. That's some more code. That's some more mackerel. Okay. Nice, nice. So, is that where I came from? I guess so, yeah. No, that, that's where I came from. Which one? Which one? I guess that's where I came from. Yeah. Uh, let's fish. Trophy coat. Nice, nice. You have a light on, it's fine. No, it's getting really dark. It's getting really late. Let's go. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. <gasps> that is so interesting. Red lights and sleeping will reduce it. I love that. I love a panic meter in a game, but a panic meter in a fishing game, you know, the, usually fishing games are all about cozy, wholesome mechanics and stuff, but a panic, I love it. And I love the way it's just an eye looking around panics. It's so beautiful. I'm already in love with this. Oh, encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So there's... <laughs> I can already see... Oh, I can't wait to find aberrations. This game is already... So, uh, I can't wait to explore more in this game. I only just started and I already can't wait. You go close, fisherman. Are you after somewhere to sell your catch? Where the murder is on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye out on the lighthouse here. Eh? Wouldn't want to lose sight right 
Og vi får tyllet ud. This is little matter. So I need to go back the other way. I mean, I thought anywhere would do. Because, like, we just came here. So do we have a place to stay? I don't know. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Ah. Hello? Is that... No. <clears throat> I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No, not really, I'm sorry. God, I cod would have been fantastic here, but I haven't found a cod play. I guess we might find it on the way back, because we need to go back. My bad, it's almost midnight. Let's just let's just go. If I find a code in on the way, I'll I'll get it. Otherwise, I do want to see what the shine Oh god. Eyes, I see eyes. No, these are squids, I think. I'm so panicked. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We we're, we're there. We arrived. You step onto the dock at Greater Maru. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, oh, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Of course, it's all up to me to improve the town. <laughs> the new newly arrived person, just a lowly fisherman, but I I will be solely responsible for improving the town. Of, co of course. Where do I sell the fish? Also, the mayor's voice I'm sure is different to what it was earlier, but don't worry about it. Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Let's go to the fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack over the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly, haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. <sighs> You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to lasso out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more to. Other towns and other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Hmm. So, let's see what you got. I got a fair amount, actually. So, I mean, I don't have a reason to not just give it all. To not just sell it all, so let's sell all fish. So, wait, that adjusted was only 18? Why? Why did I only give 18? What if I want to give it all? I'd like to pay off some of my debt. Of course, how much would you like to repay? All of it. I have enough. Fantastic. Now, what else can I do for you? So the fun thing about all of this is that I'm planning to run Call of Cthulhu someday when, you know, um, mostly it's when people are available. Scheduling, as always, in tabletop RPGs is the worst enemy. 
<laughs> but um, I'm planning to run Call of Cthulhu, and the first, the first thing that I want to run is actually on a lighthouse island. So now I'm just getting inspiration from what I can do. What is this? Shallow. Okay, I can't. Let's go over here, and there should be a dock, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I can just rest here instead of having to go back into town. But ruined man and work, ruined mansion and workshop. Is this? This is exact. Remember the one shot I was talking about? This is kind of exactly like it. I wonder if they got inspiration from that because I feel okay never I don't want to talk more about it just in case any of the of my future players are watching I don't want to spoil it but I'm it's so exciting honestly <laughs> the door is locked whoops okay well workshop the workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Okay, okay, interesting. Let's rest. Okay, so unfortunately I only had an, about an hour to record this one off, and with this being a Lovecraftian kind of game, that is supposed to be all about a slow descent into madness, so the first hour didn't really have anything. These clips that you're seeing are from later on. I wasn't actually recording, but whenever something like this happened, I would stop and uh, go back and make a clip of the last 30 seconds. And uh, this ship, I was following that ship and it disappeared, and then I saw it coming to me, I was like, ooh, friend, yup, it's a monster, yep. <laughs> And these are all so fantastic, so let me know in the comments what you think about this game, if you like Lovecraftian kind of things like me, uh, like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh god, that...